Research log 428. <sighs> Latest results still inconclusive. Elder dragons awaken, consume magic, and leave nothing but annihilation in their wake. This is the way it's always been. The dragon cycle. <sighs> Unimaginable suffering through the ages. Countless lives shattered. And instead of uniting, some capitalized on chaos. But some of us fought back. Heroes across Tyria banded together. We came from different corners, but shared a vision of a better tomorrow. Not everyone made it. <laughs> then came... hope from an unexpected place. Orin, who we raised from an egg. With the prismatic dragon on our side, we have a chance. A chance to finally break the dragon cycle. We've slain five elder dragons. <sighs> but what's the right path forward? Every elder dragon death has made the whole system more unstable. There have been many theories. We tried to keep balance by replacing them, but that turned out to be impossible. We're running out of time for answers. I'm running out of time. One remaining Elder Dragon is out there somewhere. I don't know what awaits us. Champion, I need to speak with you. Something's happening, and I'd like to discuss it. In person. Also. If I'm honest, I wouldn't mind seeing your face. Again. In person. Don't let that go to your head. It's wonderful to see you, even with Jormak and Primordius gone. I notice Tyria is still standing. Seems the Exalted were a bit off in their predictions. Disaster hasn't struck. Yet. The world does feel different, though. Can't put my finger on it. Like, change is coming. Real change. I feel it too, Champion. That's why I wanted to see you. I've begun to... Perceive something. A distant presence. An ancient presence. It's a ripple in the mists. Like a dolphin in the deep, sounding to sense what's out there, and I, I want to respond. But before I do, I check my visions. All my possible futures converge to one point. Today. And you can't see past it. And I can't see past it. Are you sure? Does it mean you die? I'm not sure of anything, except my urge to respond, to say, yes, I'm here. You're not scared? I'm intrigued. I'm intensely curious. And even if I die, we know I won't stay dead. We think. Whatever it is, I can handle it. I just wanted to tell you, before it all begins. How does it begin? I'm not sure. 
But I know it involves Tiny and Gorik. Then I'll talk to them. Command. Kate. Oh, you're back. That's, uh, good. That's great. Is she... <sighs> something to do with Gorik? Yeah, okay, um, so Gorik and I have been up here doing research, looking for a way to end the dragon cycle. Because, like, who needs that noise every 10,000 years, am I right? So many dead people, and the cleanup is insane. You were talking about Gorik. Right. Gorik got a message from an old colleague. Ah. An old inquest colleague. Ah. Uh -huh. Anka. Anka. He's mentioned her a couple times. I've never met her. Says she was tracking Jormag and Primordus. Ah. Uh -huh. She has some data. Would he like to see it? She'll trade it to us. For what? Doesn't specify for what. Red flag. Come meet her at Lorner's Pass alone. Second red flag. So, Anka? offers him something she knows he'd want without asking for something in return? Yes. Why would she do that? Exactly. Oh. She likes him. Exactly. Why do you care? I don't know. But you don't trust her. Why should I? Why indeed? I'm sorry, are you worried for Gorik's safety? Yes! I'm worried for Gorik's safety. You want me to go find him at the pass? Bring him back? Alchemy! Uh, would you please? Thank you, Commander. Gang's back together, huh?